Hello my friends, Bayani here. In this video, I'm just gonna show you guys how to use the red guard membrane. Yes, is this a recording? This one is the fast dry one. You can do it and uh, start to work almost immediately setting the tire. This is a uh, shower number six that we're doing with it. We already done four shower and it's uh, give you a great protection. And what I done in here, like you guys can see, the bottom here was a gap between the dry oil and the shower base. I just load it with some compound. Still a little bit fresh, but uh, we have the tire is going on very soon, so I'm just gonna run on top of it, get it done. And then we put the tape, like you see, we put the green tape in there. We just left about one eighth from the drywall and the shower base, that's why when we do it, it's gonna act like a silicone on the corner. That way it's protected. So here first, I'm just gonna show you guys. I'm just gonna do all the corners. I just can go like very fast. I just do like you guys can see. Right in there. You can be, you can put a good amount. Oh, the cardboard is on my way. I just wants to get on all the corner in there. Sometime it, this little corner is where the water goes, right? And then I just make sure the corner is well done. Like don't be too cheap on it. In my case in here, like you guys can see, this brush is an old brush, I used it for paint before. Because once I'm done with this, uh, the brush, the paint brush and the roller, I'm just gonna, not even gonna bother to wash them. All you guys got to do is to make sure that if you have a a dip on the drywall, a little hole, a little place, just make sure all is sealed there, eh? And I'm just gonna go as far as my arm goes. I'm not gonna go straight up because this is a little bit more than eight feet high, so the water never gonna go to the top. And beside that, the ceiling is already painted. I don't want to go too close to the ceiling at this moment. Put the brush away, I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna use a, a tray or anything like that. I'm just gonna go with the roller. I'm just gonna put some product and then I'm gonna spread out. I might do like vertically and horizontally to make sure that uh, every spore, every little hole is sealed. I 
just going to put my mask on because uh, the smell is a little bit strong. And uh, what you guys should use, should use like a, a old clothes. Because this thing stay too long, it is waterproof, so you have a chest that's not going to come off of your clothes that is. Found a little bit of spot of mud in there. I'm just gonna clean that up. That way is not uh, high or anything like that.
Yes, guys, this is uh, about it. So I'm gonna have move the bucket from here. Remove my protection. Now what we have to do, I can show you guys. This might be dry, dry iron. See, look this. I just finish it. The part that I did first, I already can touch it. This side a little bit wet, but look at this. is already out there. And this is still a little bit, see? The down here is a little bit wet, you see? But the part that I did up here, I already can touch. To touch, so this is uh, very much you do it. You go and drink a cough. Or I can come back and install your target. If you see a spot that you think you need a little bit more, do a little bit more. This is a damn shoes, very good stuff. And then once you're done, use uh, the tape. The tape that you have in here to protect it. Right? This tape you just uh, remove it while you're still wet. Otherwise, once you try to remove it, after dry, the, the membrane might just come off and then your job is not the specific the way you want to do it. So this is done, uh, removed when the membrane is too wet. Like you guys can see here, this one is, is dropping there, but it's already dry, look. The one that goes on top of the tape. We we'll just leave it there and then we just have to wrap the it off. Let it sit for a little bit. And this is about it guys. Like uh, this bucket. We're gonna do it. still have two more to go. We set up to do eight. And then this would save you. It's a lifesaver. To preserve the tar and the water damage in the future. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have any question or comment, please leave it. We're here to answer your question. We love comments. And uh, see you in the next one. I love you guys. See you soon.